Hi, this is Jack's Big Tree. Um, um, today I'm going to show you how to use the vocoder um, included in Audacity. All right. Um, yeah. Um, it's a it's a LED SPA plugin. You can get it optionally. You know, just have to ins click the installer and install over nine plugins for you. All right. Um, that's it. So um, let's start it. First, record um, the audio. Right. For, oh, sorry. First, let me explain how a vocoder works. Um, a vocoder consists of a car carrier and modulator. All right. Um, the modulator is your voice, which you want to modify, and the carrier is is like your synth lead or or synthesizer sound or virtually anything that you want to use it with your voice with. Right, you can, yeah, you can use it. You can vocoder. I just need those two things. Right, first I'll record my audio. Uh, this is a test of Audacity's built-in vocoder. Snip it off with it. Right, vocoders have been used by many different electronic music bands such as Daft Punk or Kraftwerk. Yeah, alright. Um, right, now we have to split it to stereo tra a stereo track. Right, um, the Audacity vocoders um, default settings requires that you um, uh, not, not say requires I, I don't know if you can change the settings but um, through the default settings you will um, have to uh, put the modulator on the left channel and the carrier on the right channel so um, let's do it so, um, since you only need left for your voice um, delete the right channel Right. Um, now you have to you have to generate like generate the tone. Um, I don't have any the synthesizer connected to it, so I'll just use Audacity's tone generator. White noise, yeah, it's quite good to use white noise. Right. Um, now generate noise, white noise. Um, it's about three seconds. So um, three. Whoa, alright, itself. Alright, so, um, as you can see, this is the white noise. Yeah, um, you can use it for anything, so I said. Um, there are a bunch of other synthesizers in here. Yeah, my M50. Okay, yeah, I can use that, sorry. Um, yeah, so. Alright, now let's get started. Um, this is a mono track. I recorded it in mono. Um, the carrier has to be in right channel, so set it to right channel. The, the arrow right channel alright now make the stereo track click on the left channel and click make stereo track alright now, now yeah it's a stereo track sorry for keep sorry for the constant repetition of stuff sorry alright um, now um, yeah just now I, I did a vocal just now a vocal sound just now I, this is actually not the first take yeah, so Alright, just gonna show you how the, the GUI looks like. Right, vocoder. Choose the vocoder from the effects. Um, you can modify these param parameters. Um, then I'm not sure what most of them do, but um, the vocoder bands. I can explain that. Um, the higher the band, the more intelligible your voice will sound. Although it's been resynthesized with the white noise. Right, um, I, I don't know what to set, I just, yeah, randomly put in some stuff, right, okay, so it's processing, oh, okay, so I'll play it back, um, you won't be able to hear it, I don't have stereo mix, um, so I, I'll put, just put the end result um, at the end of the video. That was pretty cool, so you can. Yeah, you will really hear it at the end of the video. Alright, that's how you use Audacity Vocal. You can use technically any sound. Yeah, like, but uh, most of the time it's recommended to use synthesizer sounds as well, they're cooler and yeah, more synthetic. Um, I actually did a vocoder with a piano before. It sounded pretty good. Maybe you can try that. Tell me what you think. Alright, um, please subscribe and comment on this video. Um, uh, yeah, um, if you subscribe, you, know, you get like 
very constant updates of like music videos or music videos or um, tutorial screencasts, yeah, synthesizer demos or advertisements for my albums. Yeah, I get them in German though. I have some videos on those. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, stop recording. This is a test of audacity's built-in vocoder.